came here to talk about something that frustrates patients all the time. When they go to the doctor, they go to the dentist, and the dentist tells them, well, we're really not sure what's wrong with your tooth. Maybe we're gonna take an antibiotic, maybe it's your sinuses, uh, we're gonna wait and see, which everyone hates that wait and see thing. They wanna know what's wrong with them. So many years ago, we added digital radiography, which is now the most advanced way of looking at a tooth to find out if there's infection, or if there's a crack, if there's something wrong with it. But recently we've added the cone beam 3D digital x-rays, which allow us to look at the image, which is a three-dimensional image, three-dimensionally, instead of looking at it in a two-dimensional format. So here I'll show you an x-ray of a case where we had that very situation where a patient had been going to a different doctor for many years and complaining that the tooth hurt and when she bit down hard on something, it was sore and it was tender, but it wasn't extreme pain, but it went on for years and she just couldn't figure out what was going on. She kept going back to the doctor. He would take two dimensional x-rays and look at it and say, well, I think it's fine. Let's wait and see. Maybe it's your sinuses. Maybe you have a sinus infection. And she thought maybe she'd get sinus infections from time to time and that that's why the tooth hurt. Uh, so. We saw her recently, we took a two-dimensional digital x-ray, and here it is, uh, and you can see that maybe there might possibly be a little bit of infection here, but it's not real clear, and you're certainly not sure of that. If we look at the tips of the roots of the teeth, which dentists often do, we don't see infection there, so the root canal looks okay, and, and we're really not sure what's wrong. So here's a case where it demonstrates, looking at it three-dimensionally, how much different it looks. So we took a cone beam image of this particular patient, I'll bring that up, and when we look at this, we can see, we see healthy bone all here around these teeth. But when we look at this tooth, you can see the big void and the big hole in the, in the bone there where there's a significant infection. And if we move this around, because it's three-dimensional, we can move this around and look at the back of this same root and the back of this root. And we can see the large infection forming here where it's actually eating away at the bone around that tooth. So we're, we're sure now that there's an active infection here and that it needs treated. And so now it's no longer a mystery what's going on with the tooth and why is it hurting and it, there's no more wait and see. It's quite simple, there's an infection and the tooth needs treated.